Welcome back. Our holdovers from the first half of the program. Delegate Michael Height. Good morning. Admiral Bill Stubblefield. I feel like a holdover, Rob. <laughs> Just keep holding on, buddy. Just hold on. Just keep holding over and holding on. And uh, also joining us on the Friday Five, Mr. Lawrence Schultz. Great to be here. Mr. Michael Carl. I just try to hold up. <laughs> <laughs> and via telephone, holding the line is Joe Ferretti. Joe? Oh, it'd be helpful if I turned up your slide there, Joe. <laughs> Joe? Yep, good morning, fellas. All right. I'll, I'll, just, I'll just yell. <laughs> <laughs> Either you're being muted by yourself or by me, but one way or the other, you've been muted every day. <laughs> Uh, via telephone as well, Berkeley County Clerk Tony Petrucci has some early voting for us, uh, early voting totals yesterday for us. Tony, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me again. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Bill Stubblefield tells me he was one of many enthusiasts in line yesterday to cast a vote. And and I, Great. And I Great. saw you, Tony, holding court, but you're on the other end of the line. It was a long line, so I never got yeah. to say hi to you. So. Well, I missed you. I'm sorry. I didn't see you. Um yeah, it was quite a quite a line yesterday, but nothing like it was on Wednesday. What do you have for us? I understand that uh, well, strong turnout yesterday. Yeah, we had a stronger turnout uh, yesterday. Um, uh, I'll just give you a breakdown real quick. At the uh, Beddington Station, uh, 1,987 people voted. At the uh, Pikeside Station, 1,699 and at the Dunn Building, 1,676, with a total of 5,362. And that brings our total for just a few days so far, uh, almost 8,000 people. And, Tony, so, you will continue this tomorrow, correct? Tomorrow from 9 to 5, and then we start again uh, next week uh, for the whole week. Yeah, it's a 10-day period. Yeah. Will you do another Saturday next weekend? Yes, sir. Okay, and then mm-hmm. and then Saturday at five will be the final moment for early voting, correct? Yes, next Saturday at five o'clock. Yeah. Uh, and uh, in in regards to, do you get absentee ballots directly in Berkeley County, or do they go to the Secretary of State's office? We get them directly there. Mm-hmm. We we've got about um, fifteen hundred that we have, and of course we have up until uh, October thirtieth to um, to. If somebody requests them to send out, to, and as long as they're postmarked by November fifth, we we take care of that also. Mm-hmm. Tony, I for the Dunn Building, I want to commend you how well organized it was. Uh, everybody was I knew what they were doing. That everybody was courteous, uh, very yeah. very helpful. If somebody needs some needs some assistance, it was well done in every way. Uh, every way. Well, I tell you, uh, Mr. Stubblefield, we've had great. Um, uh, Coordination between the IT department, of course, our staff there with the voter registration staff, the bailiffs, uh, of course, Mike Lang, he's in charge of that. They, we have a, a couple bailiffs there and also a, a sheriff deputy. And, of course, at the other two locations, we have bailiffs there that stay 24 hours around the clock because we have the machines there. And, um, yeah, they're doing a great job. We started off with 10 machines at these locations. The outside, uh, Pikeside and Bettington, we actually put three more there. I was able to purchase 15 uh, newer machines um, a few months ago. So those three additional help. And anybody that's handicapped, uh, um, we just move right up front. You know, if they're in a wheelchair or, uh, um, you know, have trouble getting around. And that seems to be working out all right for them, too. I hate to see people wait in line at and needs to get there. And, and if there's any Notre, Notre Dame fans, we definitely take them up front. So I think we had two, <laughs> yeah. I now, think we had two yesterday. So yeah. anyway, uh, Mike yeah, Height. Right. Mike Height was lobbying that should be emotionally or mentally handicapped, so he could go up front. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, oh, shots know. fired. <laughs> so uh, I, I called uh, called in, called him. <laughs> Joe, Joe's on delay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I talked to uh, one of my staff members at Pikeside, and the lines have already started again. And um, I'm not sure how Saturday will be. I mean, Saturday's a little bit different. People have, you know, other things to do. But I'm, I'm hoping, you know, people will come out and vote. And 
just for uh, Mike's uh, info, uh, being involved with legislative, uh, Vera McCormick down in Kanawha, she's got nine outside places, and her average was only 300 and some. Now, you know, she had more people voted. Uh, uh, first right. day was 3,700, but she only had an uh, average of 300. And um, I feel, you know, we were way over that. So um, I talked to Hoppy a little bit yesterday about it, and uh, things are going well. Um, the biggest challenge, well, usually this is on the uh, election day itself. You know, we won't. You know, we don't have the security at the at the uh, eighty precincts. So um, we're hoping everything goes well with that. But you know, the IT department works real well with the um, the poll workers. If there's any problems, we have the, the, those people floating around. If there's problems, uh, so I couldn't ask for any better cooperation with the commission, county commission, um, Mr. Gary Wine, and. Um, it's working, so hopefully in the future we'll we might look at some uh, another place. We'll just have to see. Tony, how many registered voters are there in Berkeley County? I thought I heard the total was eighty thousand. Just about ninety-five thousand. Ninety-five thousand. So yeah. almost ten percent have already early voted. Eighty-nine right. twenty-five is your two-day total. 8, absolutely. absolutely. So I'm I'm thinking we're probably going to get close to twenty thousand people this week. All right. Well, that should wow. make it a little bit easier on election day for you. I, I, I would think, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Um, so yesterday, while Bill was in line, Tesla stock went up 20%. He wants to know if you can guarantee that every time he votes. I'll vote every day then. <laughs> <laughs> Twice yeah. a day if you'll let me. <laughs> well, believe it or not, uh, we were at a meeting someplace. Uh, some, they tell us that you can vote as many times as you want provisional. <laughs> <laughs> that'll work but we, take, but we just take the first one <laughs> tony anything yeah. else anything else you can tell us everything else uh you know like i told you i'll i'll send you a text every night what what the count is and give you an idea of where we're at and uh if you have any questions just call me joe how you doing joe peretti hey tony i'm doing great how are you I'm all right. How's everything down your way? Busy, busiest man in Berkeley County. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But uh, everything's so far so good. Awesome. Tony, thank you. Thanks, Tony. Thank you, and uh, I appreciate you having me on. Have a great yeah. day, sir. You do the same. Bye-bye. Berkeley County Clerk Tony Petrucci at uh, 843.